It is that time. The NFL schedule has been released. And with fresh eyeballs, I'm going to look at the schedule and see what I think about it. Let's jump into this. What is up, Finn fans? I have been dog hair in my mouth. I have been off of Twitter for the past two days because they have been slowly releasing all of this stuff about the schedule. So I have tried my hardest, my damnedest, to not see anything. I've had people DM me and my DMs pop up on my phone and I have to just like, ah, because I want to see this and react to this and give you guys my instant reaction, fresh, new eyes, how you doing, shebang. Um, and it worked for the most part. I saw one game. I saw the Bills Dolphins week two Thursday night football. That's the only one that got spoiled for me. And that's because it was kind of everywhere and I couldn't avoid it. But I haven't been on Twitter for a couple of days, two days. So, but before we jump into that, and while I'm talking, because right now it is 7.59 as I'm recording, so 8 o'clock the schedule will come out, um, I want to shout out Jordan. If you see that thumbnail, my guy Jordan, my my graphics guy, put that thumbnail together. He does my um, preview, my game live streams. He did the draft. Jordan's my dude. Love him. He does some great work. Absolutely love Jordan. Um, but yes, now while I'm looking at this, I do want to shout out today's sponsor, and that is Clean the World. Sean Seipler, Clean the World, great organization, great human being, helping people. That is a big, big thing for me, and that's why I'm very happy to be partnering with him. Goes out there, natural disasters, third world countries, the homeless. He gets some shower stations. He gets some of these kits that have the soap, the shampoo, the toothbrush, toothpaste, socks. I just found out today that he is right now in Washington, D.C., meeting with senators, and he got invited to the White House. So he's doing big, big things. So go check him out, cleantheworld.org. Um, Sean, love you. And let's look at this schedule. So let me let me see if I can go to the Miami Dolphins website. Again, I'm not editing this. You're getting I'm seeing this fresh. Um it's eight o'clock schedule, maybe. Is it out yet? I said Um I think it's out. Okay, it is out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think this is it. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. This is it. So we are starting home week one against Jacksonville, and then we're home Thursday night against Buffalo. Love that, okay? I showed you guys, I think it was last video, where I was talking about the fact that we've been on the road uh, for the first two games forever. Love this, especially because it's a short week going to Buffalo. And I told you guys that I wanted – a bye week and on then a th bye week and then this to be on a Thursday night game, but I'm fine with this because and look, I didn't even see. I see we got a Monday night game, 7 30, week four. I don't even know who we're playing yet. I'm so excited. Um long, long week. Thursday to Sunday. Nice long little week in between. We have to go to West Coast, face Seattle. So far, I love this. I love staying home for Jacksonville. It's gonna be a hot one. And this Buffalo Thursday night at home. Yes, it's a night game, but it's still going to be hot. I kind of wish it was still 1 o'clock, but Buffalo dodge another one. Then we have, like I said, Seattle. That is a 4 o'clock game. Then who we playing Monday night? Tennessee Titans. Monday night football at Hard Rock on ESPN. Revenge game, baby. Revenge game. Ooh. Love it. So far, first four weeks, we got two primetime games. Love it. First four weeks, also three home games. You guys got to realize we're nine on the road, three at home. So that kind of worries me how the rest of the schedule is going to look. But so far, I like this schedule. Sunday, one o'clock. Okay, at New England. I'm cool with that because it's beginning of October. It's not going to be too cold there. Good. Love that. What's next? By week, week six. I don't like that. I had such an early bye week. Not a fan of that bye week. 
Not a fan of that bye week. Okay. Sunday, 1 o'clock at Indy. It's a dome. Okay. Coming off of a bye. So we're on the road, come home, go back on the road. I'm cool with that. Um, What's after that? 1 o'clock home for Arizona. That's on October 27th. Then at Buffalo, November 3rd. Not going to be too cold there. I actually like that. Okay. And then at LA on November 11th, that's a tough stretch right here. That's a tough stretch. Next game has to be a home game. Yeah. Raiders, November 17th. That's the game I'm probably going to. November 17th, um, Las Vegas Raiders. That's the game I'm probably going to. Okay. Back-to-back home games. I love it. I see we got another Thursday night game. Wait a second. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Is that Thanksgiving? Is that Thanksgiving? That has to be Thanksgiving. That's Thanksgiving. Ooh, Green Bay Packers. Thanksgiving night. Oh, baby, baby. That is now what? Third primetime game? Let me double check. Sorry. One. Uh, two. Oh, this is the start of two Monday night games. Yeah, it's 7.30. Two. Yeah, third primetime game. Thanksgiving night against the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to try my best to get a collab with Tom Grassi on the channel. That's big. Ooh, boy. Okay. Then we're home for the Jets. On December 8th, okay, then at Houston, warm, cool, 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 then home for San Fran in December, not a lot of cold weather games, Um, then at Cleveland, I spoke too soon, at Cleveland, December 29th, that's going to be a cold one, that is also, I think that's a Sunday night game. December, nope, that's a Monday night game. My phone doesn't want to work. No, it's a Sunday night game. Four primetime games. We got a Sunday night, a Monday night, and two Thursday night games. We got four primetime games. Then this one's two to be be determined uh, last week of the season. I will be going to that MetLife takeover. It's going to be huge. Last game of the season. It's also probably going to be very cold. Wow. Do they have the wallpaper of the schedule yet? I doubt it. They do. No, that's training camp. But that's last year's training camp. No, they don't have the schedule yet. Let me see if I can find one that is a little more compact. So we can take a good hard look at it. So far, I love it. I do like... The schedule. Give me 2024, you butts. Not available. Come on. Let's see. Schedule. Team schedule. It's probably going to send me back to the same thing. <laughs> I want to see it more compact so we could see it all. Um, I, I don't hate the schedule. Now, I like how they spread out our home and away games. I do not like that we have a week six bye. To me, I would have preferred it around like week nine, week nine, week 10. I think that's early, and that might bite us in the butt because you know our luck when it comes to injuries. But I like starting at home two weeks in a row. I like having a Thursday night game and then heading to the West Coast which means we have that extra time before we have to head to the West Coast. I like having – this is going to suck. Well, it's Monday. I just realized it's a Monday night game. That's five primetime games. The Miami Dolphins have five primetime games, and that helps the Dolphins that they're heading to L.A. on a Monday night. Dolphins have five primetime games. Wow. We have Thursday night. We have two Monday nights. We have a Sunday night, and then we have Thursday night. Five primetime games. Besides the bye week, I actually really like our schedule. 
The only cold weather game is Cleveland. No, and the Jets. The last two games of the season are going to be cold. You got to win. You got to win in cold weather games. It is what it is. This can't be a thing anymore. We're trying to avoid it like the plague. But two cold weather games out of the whole schedule, like Green Bay might be cold in November, but we don't know how. You know, that could change. Um, This game, I don't see it being that cold in in November in uh, Buffalo. That also could change. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the, I think it's the Raiders game. I'm going to be going to because the 24th is a little too close to Thanksgiving. Yeah. The 24th is a little too close to Thanksgiving. And I just realized that's a short week. This Packers game is going to be tough. It's a short week. You're going from Sunday to Thursday. Yeah. This is the game I'm going to is the Raiders game on the 17th. That is the game I'm going to. So anyone's like, hey, Doug, what game are we going to? Raiders game, November 17th. And then obviously I'll be at the MetLife takeover last week of the season. I don't, ha- again, the only thing I don't like about the schedule is where our bye week's at. I like how it's spread out. A lot of one o'clock games, um, especially in Buffalo in November, one o'clock. That will help. How do we end the season? Last five games are two at home, three on the road. It's kind of a flip of last year, but I don't hate it. There's a tough stretch, but I like how they they interchanged our home and away. We don't have a big clump of away, and we don't have a big clump of home. You know what I'm saying? Like the maximum amount of times we're on the road is two games. There's not like a three-game stretch where we're on the road, and I like that. They didn't screw us this time. And we got five primetime games. That's nuts. I like the schedule. Only thing I don't like about this schedule is the fact that we have a bye week at week six. But the way we go to New England in October, love that. Buffalo early November, cool with that. Monday night for the Rams. Sunday night football for the Packers. Monday night football for the Titans, Sunday, a Thursday night football for the Bills. Just one on top of the other, on top of the other. Mon- Sunday night football for the Cleveland Browns. Five, we have five primetime games. You know why we have five primetime games? Because we had a top five offense in the NFL, and the Dolphins are actually went to the playoffs two years in a row, and we have something to work on. So the Dolphins are a top team now. So they're putting us on the prime time five times. That's nuts. And no, I'm not predicting. I'm not going through every game and predicting them. I do that. the So the season starts on Thursday. I do it the Wednesday before the season starts on that Thursday, the 5th. I go through and I give you my record prediction. Like that week before the season starts, I give you my expectations for Tua, the team, da 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 and I give you my record prediction. It's way too early. A lot of things can change. Injuries could happen. A lot of stuff, and speaking of injuries, could happen. Um, a lot of stuff could happen and change. This is smart. I This this is one that I'm like, nice, because you get the West Coast game, one of the West Coast games out of the way. Both of our West Coast games are kind of help us. Long, Like I said, long week, Thursday into Sunday. So travel's not a problem. And then it's a Monday night game. You get that extra day. And then we're home. So yeah, we lose a day, but we're going. We're playing at home, and we're home for this next two weeks. I, this I like the schedule. I like the schedule a lot, and it's like you want to prove that you're a playoff team. Here's your gauntlet. Like if the Jets are the Jets that everyone wants to say that they are, here's your gauntlet. Green Bay, Jets. Texans, 49ers, Browns, Jets. Now, again, the Jets could fall flat on their face and these games could be layups. But still, you got Green Bay, Houston, San Fran, Cleveland. Those four games, you want to be a playoff team? You want to beat a playoff team? Here you go. You got four of them looking at you right in the face. I love it. I love this schedule. Just put the bye week at like week nine. (laughs) Shift everything up one. Have the Dolphins play the Colts week six, Cardinals week seven, Buffalo week eight, boom, by week, week nine. Perfect. Love it. Keep it. How you doing? Um, 
But yeah, comment below. What do you guys think? I love this schedule. I do. I don't hate it at all. And it's, it's it flows nicely. Like I said, Max on the road two times. Look, we'll look at it real quick. Home, one road. Home, two road. Home, two road. Two home. One, one, one. Then it's like one, one, boop, 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 two. They didn't screw us. This schedule did not screw us. And we have like great opportunities to prove that we're not a weak team and we can beat a playoff team. Oh, you played in negative 31 degree weather? We're going to play in Cleveland on December 29th at night on Sunday night football. Win in the cold. Green Bay, Thursday night football, Thanksgiving, prime time, win in the cold. Like it, they're giving us all these opportunities to shut the narrative down. Do it. Love the schedule. Comment below. What are your thoughts? What games are you going to? Um, and I'll see you guys. I'm going to deep dive more into this schedule. You might get another video tomorrow of me looking more into the schedule and how I think about it and all that stuff. But comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you tomorrow. But like usual, stay classy. FN's out.